The Patrick Star Show is bad. For those who don't know, a Spongebob spin-off show of Patrick Star was created. And currently, there's a lot of backlash towards the creation of the show, but I felt like that it wasn't right for me to make a judgement without watching it myself. And after watching all of the episodes out right now, for a lack of better words, I'd consider it a true disappointment. A blemish on the legacy of Spongebob, and an outright act of disrespect to the late Steven Hillenburg and everyone behind the original show. I'll be splitting up this video into three main parts, discussing the humor of the show, Nickelodeon's corporate greed, and a blatant disrespect to the man himself. Let's start. The humor is very different than the original show, and while your enjoyment of that is subjective, if you haven't watched the show already, it would best be to compare it to modern Spongebob. In that the show is extremely random, I'd argue even more so than even modern Spongebob. The charm of the original is lost, and it seems that the humor they're going for is loud and random equals funny. Scenes hardly last for more than a minute, constantly switching character perspectives and scenes. One moment he's messing around with the plunger, and then two seconds later, f*** it, World War 3 on the stairs. And then... <laughs> Because, why not? But that doesn't inherently make the show bad. While the majority of the show is random moments, I consider some parts to be funny. However, I'd say that the majority of the show felt like filler, and my motivation to watch the next episode was depleting by the scene. The goal of the show seemed to represent a series of clips rather than a coherent episode. And from an executive perspective, it makes sense though. So many clips of cartoons go viral, so why not just make your entire show clips? But from a creative standpoint, and from the perspective of a viewer trying to watch the show, it just makes the show feel like a jumbled mess, and personally, I find that kind of hard to find entertaining. It's a series of gags, one right after another, in the hopes for a laugh. And while some parts are funny, those moments are only a small percentage of the show, and the rest just feels empty and subjectively boring. And I understand that this isn't the original Spongebob. This is an entirely different show with a different style. However, it's difficult for me to watch characters that I once really enjoyed watching being turned into these one-note characters being used for corporate greed rather than the love of creation. They essentially took the most childish and stupid parts of Patrick and increased it by 100, leaving behind this loud and annoying character that falls short of everything that he once was. But this is what they wanted. This is what they, Nick's corporate, and the business side of the show intended for. Like I just mentioned, you go to YouTube and you type in Spongebob and you'll see tons of these clips and clip compilations. These 10 minute long videos of just clips from a variety of different episodes. And so they decided that the entire show would be based around this premise. Actually, the idea of having a clip-based show was tested on Nick before, in a very similar show to this one. You might have heard of it, might have not, it's a lesser known show called Spongebob. Yes, in a previous video I discussed how Spongebob has become a shell of its former self, drastically increasing the pace, color saturation, volume, and making the show extremely clip-heavy, in the hopes of targeting a single demographic, on the younger end of the spectrum. And I'd say that almost all of the people who've watched both the original and the modern almost all dislike the latter. However, 4-year-old Timmy the iPad kid in your local Applebee's doesn't have any frame of reference. Considering his favorite show is Coco Melon, you could put anything with lots of color and loud noises and he'll watch it also while kicking my ass in Clash of Clans. But viewership is viewership. Executives don't care who's watching. They don't care if the art of the show is lost. They care about whether or not the show is bringing in money. And considering that modern Spongebob isn't really changing its style, it's safe to assume that they're getting sufficient viewership. And it's even safer to guess that they saw this and decided to replicate this in a spin-off in the hopes of drawing in even more cash. Not caring about the creative integrity of either show. And to be honest, it's a slap in the face to the original, and a kick in the groin to the late Steven Hillenburg, the creator of Spongebob. Paul Tibbet, the showrunner of Spongebob after Steven left in 2004, even expressed his disappointment towards the spin-off, stating that, I do not mean any disrespect to my colleagues who are working on this show. They're good people and talented artists. But this is some greedy, lazy executiving right here. And they all know full well Steve would have hated this. Shame on them. 
Steven even stating himself in an interview with Television Business International that he didn't want a spin-off for the future of Spongebob. Neither of the heads of the show wanted this, openly going against the idea. But just a while after the passing of Hillenburg, the Patrick Star Show was announced essentially disregarding the love and care that went into the original. And worst of all, disrespecting the wishes of a recently passed man, the man who gave them the show in the first place. To watch this series that so many people, including myself, once loved, being turned into this multi-series cash cow is saddening. Whatever opinion you may have on the show, whether you like it or not, it's hard to turn a blind eye to something like this. And I can only hope that in the future, that they try and respect the legacy of a legend. But I don't want to leave this video on a bad note, so at the very least I can thank you for watching. I spent a lot of time scripting, animating, and editing my videos, and to see people actually enjoy them is so great, so thank you. Also, I want to make it clear that I do not mean any disrespect to the creative team behind the Patrick Star show. They're just doing their job, and, and a great one at that. And to the executives behind this show, I didn't make this video to be mean or hate on you guys. I just simply care a lot about a show that was a big part of mine and so many more people's childhoods. Anyways, with that, if you agreed or enjoyed the video at all, a like would be appreciated. And if you want to see some of my other videos, then check some of them out, and hopefully I'll see you here for the next vid. And I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully. Take it easy.